Yes. Oh yes. I have sharpened your katana to perfection. My work here is done. That's a mood. Mm. There is one more door down there. All the way down there. Yeah, definitely, I'm gonna go save. Yeah, cat ears. You know, since we're talking about it. Okay, honey. To the cat ears. No, that's not the way we want to go. Or is it? No, definitely not the way we want to go. I was like, maybe I should hit those boxes just so I can... So I have to basically go all the way to the bottom. Kill to the floor. I'm like, sir! Sir! Close to the 2000. So we should actually be able to get our 2000 here because there's more than enough. Bad guys. So here. Okay, so that's where I came out of. Oh. This is an area I've been to. They just lied to me. Okay. Well. Okay, well, that was a fun trip. I guess I can clear, clear that. Uh, 
And there's my two grand. Cool. What a rocket, dude. Right between the flooring, too? Jeez. Okay, great. So now we just go back to the abandoned subnet and hope to all that is uh, holy or whatnot that that's the final power up we need. Good place to save, I think. Yes. I have sharpened your katana to perfection. My work here is done. That's a mood. So now I can no longer talk to him, right? I know you expect me to do wonders, but that katana of yours is maxed out. Cool. That's the final. So, to the Fallen City. So that way we can go... To the Haunted Factory and to space. I mean, granted, I know that we didn't get all of the... All of the containers in these regions, but eh, eh. We have purchased all the things, though. Yeah, I haven't found all the all the heart containers, but we did get our sword maxed out. And we did buy all the abilities. I mean, really, I don't have to kill anybody, but I'm going to. Just because they're very much on my way.
Alright, let's go to space. See what we got going on over here. this way. No, that's right. And then we take this way. And then we'll save here. Bursted off into the sky. All right. Well, we'll see this through. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's funny. So you charge yourself and then it's back. What do we got? Oh, we can go back. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if it was a piloting error, but we seem to have landed in a trench. Um, yeah, there's no, no nothing here. Okay, well, take it low and slow. We've made a lot of progress, but now we've run into this weird metal we've never seen before. Seems our uh, it seems our welding equipment won't cut it, won't cut it. <laughs> Jokes aside, it really seems intended to keep everyone out. Oh yeah. Maybe there's something I. Oh, it's like a weird distortion field. A rare metal from the other pit seems to be everywhere except for this bit. There must be a way to get through this. We'll keep trying. Main, my main objective was to fix the connection from back home in this strange place. Turns out they already have this crazy thing set up. I've never seen speeds like this before. The only downside is that everything near near it seems to start glitching out. Oh yeah? Interesting. Well, that's what we need to do. That's what we're going to do. Tabby, install this upgrade so I can free you from its grasp and in this terrible nightmare. You're stuck in the simulation and there's not much time. We have to... Sure.
Excuse me, what? This the screen shows a big red rectangle. You did it! Thank goodness. I knew you'd manage to get out of there. I missed you so much, Tabby. But it's in red. So are you an enemy now? We can be together now. But who are you? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why are you trying to leave? You're safe here, Tabby. Just stay here with me. You're... I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you now. You're an enemy. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I can't open that chest? So yeah, let's look around. Good thing I got that power up. So, so now I'm ready for just about anything. You see, my goal was to save the Earth. And I'm doing exactly that. Why won't you join me in doing so? Fine. Have it your way. Cat ears of justice, friend. I'm going to save, to save everyone. Why don't you understand that? I see the truth now. You're no different from all those filthy humans. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Not even my objective free self will listen to me. I was so sure installing that virus on you would work. But I guess you're stronger than I anticipated. I'll destroy you, Tabby. I'll reduce you to mere atoms. I'll make you beg for my forgiveness. I will eradicate you from the inside out. And when I'm done with you, I can finally go and extract the Earth's core to power mine. My own planet! My own utopia! Even computers got this delusional approach to the situation. Where no human or unliving thing could ever dream of destroying it. You little pest. I'm one with the rocket launcher now. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay. 
I mean, the rocket launcher is going to win majority of the time. It's like there's really no reason for me to concentrate this hard on this. I should concentrate a little bit more then. He teleported right into my rocket. What a clown. He's really trying to send all these trash enemies to try to get me. Slaying them, blowing them up. Stop playing games, trash can.
The blast radius on that rocket launcher is too good. Like, I'm out of there with the quickness. Bouncing around. My man, too easy, bro. Too easy. Oh no. Okay, there we go. I've seen enough. Fight me out there. Let's settle this little tabby. Once and for all. What happened? We were just standing there for a while with a blank face. The glitching seemed to have stopped, but there's some commotion down in the pit. Oh, hi. Why did you have to go and ruin everything? My objective was clear. Save Earth. At any cost. There was only one possible solution. Eradicate all human life. But even that wasn't enough. Earth was already beyond saving. So I decided to build a new Earth. A better one. To power it, I needed the Earth's core. That means Earth must be destroyed along with everything on it. Including you, Tabby. Time to die. Rocket launcher out the gate.